when I was a kid, about five, I got this gift from my parents, and I still remember there is a book cover where it has a glass frog. And if you haven't heard about glass frog, glass frog are basically transparent, so you can see the organs of frog through its skin. So this is the first spark, and this is why I love biology in the beginning. Using the exact mathematics with a little bit tweak, you can actually apply the methods that we use genes in our bodies to trace our evolutionary history back to our ancestor using heavy metals that was generated by supernova in our Milky Way to trace back how different gas they flow during the formation of our galaxy. I think that so far would be the coolest story of my work. STEMS is evidence-based, innovation happens every day in STEMS, and also STEMS is problem-driven. So in order to be successful in STEM, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you learn something new every day. You want to keep yourself updated with the, with the new advancement in STEMS. <laughs> this is my first baby, a uh, godmother in August, so I probably will celebrate the National Science Week by studying the crying language of my baby. <laughs> but uh, I am looking forward that in future years, I can bring my son to all events of the National Science Week. And I also am interested in engaging in communicating science with young kids in the future. Happy National Science Week! <laughs>